Okay, so this section is on something called a complex number. So a complex number happens when we have a negative under a square root. So for example, if we want to look at the square root of positive 9, we know that that's 3, because 3 times 3. If we want to look at the square root of negative 9, if you type that in your calculator, you're going to get undefined. So we want to work with it so it's a, a, enough defined that we can work with it. So we add this thing called i. It's called an imaginary number. We say i. But what we do is we break up the square root into two parts. So I would say I'm going to factor that and take out a negative 1. So square root of negative 1 times square root of 9. I'm factoring a negative 1 out. And the square root of negative 1 right here we call i. So this is now i, and this is the square root of 9. So what's the square root of 9? 3. So we write it with the number in front, 3, and the i second. So these are really important i squared is negative 1 because if I have i equals the square root of negative 1, what happens if I square both sides? I have i squared and then the square root cancels out with the square. So that's why i squared equals negative 1. When we write imaginary numbers, we have what we call standard form. So standard form is a plus bi, and this is this part. a is the real part, and b is the imaginary. So an example of that would be 3 plus 4i. So it does not equal 7i. No. Okay, one of these is a real number. One is an imaginary number. They're not like terms you can't combine them. I can add them, so if I had 3i plus 4i, that would add to 7i. If I had 3i times 4i, that would be 3 times 4, 12i times i, i squared. <gasps> but i squared is negative 1, so I would replace the i squared with negative 1, which changes the sign. That would be negative 12. So 3i plus 4i equals negative 12. Okay, so you're going to, in this section, you're going to rewrite using i. You're going to multiply and add and subtract with complex numbers. But treat them just like any other number. They have the same rules, except you can't take the square root of them.